How's it going, to mates? This is Mr. Charles back with Tomb Raider the Third, number three, the painful one, the one that will give you non flashbacks if you play it. I'm already getting flashbacks of this game, of those good old days in the jungle, literally in the jungle with this one. And um, well, I don't really like thinking about it in my sleep when I'm having nightmares about Tomb Raider. All right, but. So far, despite the sweltering heat of, of Nevada for Laura and Vietnam for me, it's fucking 35, 36 degrees here, I'm sweating my ass off. We're doing good for ourselves, we're doing amazing, look at this, we've opened a door. Well, that's a first. Normally all the doors close on Laura and she can't go anywhere, but this time she can actually do something with herself. Alright, but previously we opened the door, that looks like it leads to the enemy base. So I'm going to try go through there, try and find the different flavoured men. <sighs> Let's try that again. I want to be successful in all my endeavours. Right, no, I don't believe you. I'm gonna, uh, uh, cool, so maybe go here. Yep, and then, yes! Alright, fine, well I guess a perfectionist playthrough isn't possible. Alright, I hear man sounds, yep, no, no. You might as well get a gun out, mate, because you're not going to come up here. The power of the crate compels me to murder all of you. Okay, got some very Metal Gear solid music on. Hey, man. Hello. Goodbye, man. Really feel like I'm just randomly murdering these guys, because they're not really picking up a fight or anything. Like, believe me, the poison people in that jungle are way worse. Okay, these must be the um, man dwellings, where the man lives. This- Oh god, okay, well that kind of scared me. No, go away. Look, you may think you're the Terminator, but you're gonna fall down like a Nokia 7. Which I, I don't know if that's actually a phone, I just made it up. Okay, good, bleeding to death. Before I continue, any other men, anyone else I should be aware of who exists? Any- any- any people existing? Maybe some women? Maybe some capable opponents, such as women? Yep, I know, Top Gun Maverick, it was a film. I haven't seen it, I can't judge, I haven't even seen the first Top Gun. So do not judge, that's going to be on a film list at some point in my life. Alright, I'm going to assume the men are going to leave me alone, for now. Obviously they're not really good at doing that, you know, leaving us women alone. Okay, fine, whatever, cool. Where was I? Oh yeah, the man dwellings. Here they play snooker, a game that- can this music stop? Chotomatiku <laughs> desai. Man, it just doesn't stop, does it? Okay. I know the song wasn't bad, but I want to be able to complain about everything in this game. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. This must be where the men play snooker. It's a, it's a game known by some men. You know, they play with their sticks and poke the balls. <laughs> okay, this must be the room where they play Ruin Escape. Or, or Tomb Raider, they really must, but, um, you know, I wouldn't be caught dead using one of these fuckers. They look more advanced than Windows XP, though, I'll give you that. Look, some of these guys even got coffee. And uh, very posh lockers. You know what, for any man, that looks like a posh locker. They've got the shittiest computers, but the best lockers. Now, I suppose for the time, they're alright. But I'm not seeing any PlayStation 1s. You know, that's a very valuable tool. Do you know a PlayStation 3 actually, like, was used in the military once? Because it was so... Well, obviously I can't use that. Because it was so advanced is what I was going to say. Right, I see a man. Hey, man! Right, clearly they're treating this, uh... Holy, fancy door as an actual door. So I'm not going to have any luck there. Okay, game. Okay. Calm down, game. Right, fine. In which case, I'm going to need to find a key card or something. Now... It's a possibility that one of these men had the key card with them. I don't think the game would be that nice. I think the game is actually going to be a dick about this and make me work for it. So, assuming X is X and Y is Y, I'm going to go off that presumption. Okay, so can I open this bit, pray tell? Nope, of course. Where, where did I save? Alright, good. Oh. <sighs> Gotta wait for the music again because I'm an idiot. Yep, good song. Really good jam. Really making me feel it. Yep. Yep. Da, da 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 We all know that shit. Yep. Entered the charts, I think. Billboard 2000. I don't know what they have in America these days, but... 
well, considering I did like the top 10 songs of every year for like a bit uh, in the 2000s. That's the best I've got. I'm going to save here just in case I don't already. Okay, so cannot touch the electrified switch. Doesn't seem like it'd be very good to just leave that as it is. You know, I'm at, what if I stand on the steel bit? Will that kill me? Okay, I guess electricity only conducts sometimes. It's whenever the game wants to conduct electricity. Good, great. Alright. So, oh, hello! Okay, well, you scared the shit out of me. No, punch me all you want. You're not gonna be able to do much with your fists. Oh, and there's another one. Nope. Nope. You can run, but you... Well, you can die as well. Ah! Oh, they're actually dropping health! That's nice of them. Should I use it? Nah, I'll hold off for a bit. Oh, I like my health where it's at right now. Okay, well, I, I hadn't realised that men had actually been generous in this game. That's like the closest thing I'm going to come to a decent amount of health. Okay, I can't see jack shit down here, which, you know... It's not really new for Tomb Raider 3. I can't wait for, like, Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness or some shit when they actually fix the lighting. I don't know if they do do that in that, but... I just imagine the more up-to-date Tomb Raiders are going to have better health. Better health... Better health... Well... Better health in terms of survival, but at better lighting. I just want... I want to be able to see my level. Okay, uh, nothing here. Okay... Semi-disappointing, but not completely unexpected. Is there anything over here that I can use? Is there some kind of key device? Something used to open doors? Okay, not getting the impression there is any of that. Getting the impression the game wants me to struggle a bit. That That's okay, I can struggle. I have been taught your ways, Tomb Raider. You know, I once even played this game and complained about a cat shitting on my room. In my floor or some shit. In my floor? Okay, whatever, fine. Regardless, it's all going to be okay. If I just believe in myself. Like I'm Naruto. Naruto Uzumaki. Alright. Having no such luck here. Having none of it. Literally nothing anywhere. Maybe there's a bit I can jump to. Maybe there's a critical bit of this game I'm missing. I don't think there's going to be anything up here, but just in case I miss something. Uh, okay, nice blank nothingness. Looking good. I like a bit of nothingness. Uh, for some reason you won't just fall down. Oh, right, because your head's too big. Okay. Uh, good, great. Well, other than this quad bike, this area is useless. And whilst I could try and use it to ramp up there, I don't see the point of doing that. Because that's just going to lead me back the way I came, right? I think. Yeah, we came from that way, so why would I want to do that? Unless I could try and jump up the ledge. Oh, wait a minute. What if I'm trying to get to the roof? Well, unfortunately, I can't even see the roof, but... Well, it's a thing I can do, and the problem with the Tomb Raider games, you don't need to work on logic. As long as you can do something, it's normally what you need to do. Okay. Are we sure we can't just, you know, do something sensible? I, I kind of prefer it when a plan comes together and it's sensible. No? Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm allergic to nonsense, but uh, apparently that's what I'm going to get. I'm going to get bloated cheeks and everything. <sighs> right. It's not like I haven't done this before. Okay, cool, great. Right, let's see if I can get used to the controls. Pretty sure I'm going to crash it the first time, so let's try and get this in motion. Right. Save. Knock yourself out. Do it. Show me what you're made of, Laura. Brilliant. I don't know how you do it. <sighs> okay, so I clearly I've got to pause it, or like a break when I'm at there. Okay, so there. Okay. Brilliant. Amazing. Do we know what break means? Okay, the brakes are shit. Gonna have to bear that in mind. Okay, going up, going up. Break quite early. Here! Okay. Okay, fine. I, I forgot reverse was a thing. Okay. How do I get off? Dora? Dora, don't do this to me. Thank you. Okay, I thought you were gonna literally make me hate myself. Hate my life and hate why I'm alive. Okay, so, is that meant to be a key card? That's not, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm allergic to nonsense. It's a key card. 
It's a. F- Can I double? Sh- sorry, sorry. Generator access. Let's look at the size of that thing for a start. That it looks like it looks bigger than a clipboard. It looks bigger than an A4 sheet of paper. Just disappears in your pocket, does it? Made of metal or fucking plastic at best. First off, and then second off, how did they get up here? It's like, oh, I don't need this card. Oh, I lost my card. Oh, no. I mean, I guess maybe the fucking men were playing frisbee with it, but then it shrinks down. What is this? Some kind of Marvel 1970s cartoon? Or 60s? I don't actually know what cartoons they had in the 60s. Uh, in the 70s. Sorry, I, the 60s, they had Spider-Man. I know that one. That's the obvious one. I know they had Spider-Man and his amazing friends, but I don't know if that was 70s or 80s, okay? I'm trying to show how much of a nerd I am. I, uh... Should I bring this thing with me? Yeah, I'm gonna take this thing with me. I don't trust it up here. Gib probably say, oh, you need it now, and I'd be like, oh, shit. Right, carefully, without dying. Without... Okay, suits me. Uh, as long as it sits somewhere, I can find it. Okay, uh... Ah, oh, I've got to figure my way off. Off. Okay, good. I guess a circle. Probably just like the canoe. It's just I have so many, like, bad memories of that canoe not working. I've just kind of given up hope of, the, of any vehicles working in this game. Right, yeah, I've been doing um, Marvel comics, a lot of them. I have a, an app called Tachiyomi, which is bloody brilliant. Get all the comics for free. Obviously, I can go online and do read comics online. They have all the stuff there. But um, this at Tachiyomi, you can do multiple sources and stuff. Get all the comics you want, and they're all free. And I love that. Okay, use that generator access. So we're going to turn off the electricity and, and what? Advance to the next area, I assume? Hi. Yep, hi. Very good. Sawdust. Sawdust in the air. Mm. Right, okay, fine. Speaking Japanese, hope someone understands it, but it's okay if you don't. They're just sounds. Uh... Right, so I'm guessing that, that lightning bolt symbols, this is for the electricity. Yes! Okay, hopefully I can get the f- fuck out of here. Resuming the music. Does that mean all the men are gonna come? The men are not gonna like the fact that I turned off the electric supply for their Xboxes? So that sounds like a thing a man would do. Get very angry and start, you know, preparing the miniguns. Alright, fine, whatever. Okay. I think it is a good thing I did that quad bike, to be honest. Because I think I know what this game's gonna want me to do next. So I can open this up, and then I'm guessing that ramp we saw in the other area, we have to quad bike it. So, yeah, very good I didn't screw myself over. This might be the only quad bike in the game. Okay, oh, thank god. For some reason I thought I broke the quad bike there. Gotta say, handling wise, it is a nice quad bike. Um, but yeah, okay. Yep, nice annoying sounds again. Oh, oh lord. Alright, uh, do I just go for it? Well, l- l- let's think about this, Mr. Charles. L- let's not be too hasty. Alright, gonna reverse. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Snake. You've been a lovely host and hostess. I will see you soon. In hell. Wee! Okay, and then I broke the game. No, I'm just kidding. There's a loading screen there. Perfect. Brilliant. Yep, that's your spine. That's your spine again. And now you're dead. You're dead. Can't survive that. That's how you die. Don't tell me you can still jump after that shit. Look, this one's gonna be... Yeah, you're gonna need more than a, a fucking little checkup for that shit. There's no way she can still jump after that. No, no way. Not gonna happen. Laura doesn't have any anything left. It's all broken. All right, that's Nevada Desert. Now let me just double check. That's the first level, right? Okay. So that was the Nevada Desert. Next is the high security compound, and then Area 51. Honestly, I'm finding this bit uh, super easy so far. Now I'm not gonna end it quite yet. I want to um. I want to see what this next cutscene is. Uh, uh, oh god, if you... Re- yeah, are you... Why not? I mean, I'm using save states. Why not try and do the memory card again? Obviously, it's not going to work or anything, is it? Right. Yep, save okay. What a fucking relief. Okay. What's the next area look like? 
Who's the next MP? Next MP in the House, in the House of Parliament. You know. Right. Good. No cutscene, you're just flicking me right into um, this lovely little chamber. Somehow Laura can still jump. She can jump forwards. She can jump to the left. She can... Can she... Can she run? No, well, she can crawl, obviously. Okay. Um, I don't believe you. I don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe the game. I don't believe any of the storytelling anymore. There is no way her spine literally got annihilated, obliterated, desecrated, going... Destroying itself down there. She's Superwoman. She's Supergirl. She's Power Girl, even. That's the only thing I can think of here. She's Wonder Woman, if you want. She's not human. She can't be. She's an alien. And she's going back to Area 51, because that's what this story is really about. Laura revealing that she's actually an alien from the planet Mars or some shit. Because there's no way she would have survived that fucking accident and not had just one injury. I can accept maybe a lucky escape from death, but not, not, not Scott free clean, look, I'm fine, don't worry about it. Really don't think they thought about the story in this one. Okay, but I am going to end the episode. Next time, we're going to look around this man base, see what we've got. But if you want to play the game yourself, see if you can do it before I do. There'll be a link to the game in the description down below. Without further ado, look out for books, subscribe to channel, it's time. See ya!